her name is Cecil Willis. Uh, my wife and I, her name is Debbie. We own the store. Uh, we've had been in the business for about 13 years. We bought this building almost six years ago. And Dick Alley is, is to us, I, it's like the uh, central shopping center in, in probably a hundred mile uh, area around here for antiques and other things. Antique Alley is not just antiques as it was uh, Originally, when it started in the early 1980s, most ever the stores that were open then was dealt primarily in antiques. Uh, right now, there are only 11 stores. We have we have the Antique Alley Marketers Association, and we have uh, 28 dues-paying members. Uh, only 11 of those are now antique stores. Uh, it's 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 not just this area uh, that it's important. Uh, we draw crowds from. Jackson, Mississippi, as far as some as Little Rock, Alexandria, Lafayette, uh, Baton Rouge. Uh, people come to this area to, to shop. You know, I think the best piece that I could choose that I have in store would be a painting that I have here. This painting is by Clementine Hunter. She's a local artist out of Natchitoches, Louisiana. And her artwork was called folk art. And she actually painted things that she saw in her life. And because of that, even though it looks like it's very childish type painting, it's very, very collectible. This is actually the oldest piece in the store. What this is is an anchor that was taken out of the uh, bottom of the ocean in Hawaii. A man rescued this and brought it back to Monroe, Louisiana. It was actually off of a ship that sank in 1832. A whaling ship sank there, and I think that's a very unique piece to have in an antique store. <laughs> My favorite story is really a funny one that I have. We had a couple come one time uh, looking for a, uh, a wedding ring. And uh, they had been looking at a number of places, and they had actually been looking for over a year for one. Uh, they found a little ring that they could afford the store, and the gentleman knelt down in front of the store, in front of the booth, and asked her to marry him and gave, presented the ring to her. And my wife and I had always commented on that. It was so sincere and sweet at the time that we wished that we had actually recorded or video recorded so that we'd have that to play for people when they saw that. This place right here was the old Rialto Theater. And what this, and I've, I've been to this movie many times during my, uh, when I was a teenager. That's right over here, we're looking at an old projector, a movie projector.